the book Saving Prostitutes, Part 2, by Billy McBride. Okay, Bertha Black, what should we say? I was in a social environment, and I soon discovered when I said something simple, the word things became simple unless some new element of someone else's vocabulary put a new variable of evolution into our phenomenon. I was given one last call before I was to awake. I was sitting in the special uh, Brad's drink place, so the drink I would never forget, the memory after all, is a useful key to knowing and affecting the environment and social environment. I'm a reader who has read in that dream a great book and that book helped me helped place me when reading it into a special room which made me king after a switch from the outside by another turned it on. Fortunately I found my way into that room after being dressed for a simple wedding of my sisterly cousin who was Queen Elizabeth's niece. So I was now worshipped as in that dream which was social as a mover from situation to situation like a fairy. Those around me were suspicious of me. Indeed I learned about rivalries yesterday night so I made sense of myself naturally Gnostically and to others just what I was doing this nobody forgot stay friends is one cove afterlife and metal settle one which like warm milk you know and discover with me the secret hiding places of things during that dualism which can connect into a whole Hiding places are accessed with the right sporty combination of words as in a prayer, says T5. Let me decide, let me describe some more of that experience. The mind is a wonderful thing. One has nurtured it for a great, in fact the greatest things to be put in it and the greatest times do and are coming. So a, gov so a governess lady tried to sell me state bonds and happily I said no but of course I was joking but she was a little slow because she was thinking of that seashell she refused to pick up that day so I cheered her up and admitted to her that I would buy the bonds. I said yes even later would be a best time for uh, for us for we could have more time to talk and she kissed me affectionately being that we could be discussing Frederick Nietzsche's her favorite philosopher's books whom though she will still find out helped me from time to time learn about much but especially about transumption. It is a simple world like Hebatresia, yet I view the people only in a more or less better but not unfair to others after lives ways of progression and perspectivism. Light of restitution since the broken vessels of one afterlife have restored, not in that afterlife for its people, but restored in secret, the secret of, quote, simple pragmatism and antithetical thinking, end quote, as that conversation with my mom turned around upon which I had last week, though remembering my present dream, I now should continue with, because she would like it if I practiced turning the pen for later when we fly the craft to the place called Sweet Cheat Sheet or as she was saying 
is also called Le Pretense de Reverse. I tremble now to calm myself of the dream. I only wish to wait less, often for more. A year or so ago was the Merkaba I call now World Peace. I took apart the globe and released the inner layer. All of the eye beams in moat had made their sculptures and were set free. World peace ensued. I was a teacher. A spin of the din was uh, the spin of the din was over. It was also Earth Day. I was taken to H E B and brought gr bought groceries. They gave out free free light bulbs, the new kind, which meant free light. My mom worried me by sending me back in to check for vacuum cleaner bags. I bought, they didn't have U bags, and I couldn't get them then. Perhaps the new light bulbs are an investment, a trade for my Merkaba of peace. Shelley and Plato are now on my mind, Prometheus Unbound, Mino the Republic and Timaeus. I was a peaceful, roll call warm milker who lost the ability to be as useful to others whom I taught. That night when I took apart the globe, I read Philosophy and the Mirror of Nature by Richard Rorty, Daisy Miller by Henry James, and Beauty and Progress, one of our books, to two invisible rude angels perhaps knowing they would, from that moment on, be in my life forever, was the trade-off for the coming peace of saving the Tobes e Beam, the good sparks by my Hajid Muradisms, uh, which is one of Leo Tolstoy's, that is, is, is the best short work in all of literature, Hajid Murad, uh, by one of my Hajid Muradisms. Valerie and honey help me see icicles, says the Navy Law. Hepatresia turned into warm milk and then back into a kind of earth, but with my family, whom I knew and still do, love me, Robbie and Rosalinda, and as well as protect me. My neighbors and those I know are also loving and that day was not an end but a birth. Rewomb, I tell ye, love a list, says Teclot. The birth of moat. The Henry the tenth day, in which I threw much away in my apartment, knowing by my angel guides good and evil, and being watched by my other family was a day and night of spiritual help which I was giving to the community. I now realize it was an intimation in a nutshell for moat, which I have been given as an activity to work on now and for later. Spiritual x-rays I studied and knew others were in desperate need of help spiritually. I made holy my apartment on the Stay Friends, Henry the Tenth Days, Stay Friends being one of the afterlives. I also listened to Love's Labor's Lost first act with piano music in the background and me reciting the character's words. My angels would also help me out by rhyming their messages in my cleaning up. I was Henry the Tenth. Water Luke was my bumper sticker outside of my Toyota Camry, and now I am working on Moat, the monumental outrageousness across Texas as a result. 
but with less intensity in the same way. That was awesome, says Valerie. On another Merkaba, where I was at peace with Plato, the Iliad, Shakespeare, and the Torah books, by my side on my bed, I had a feeling of being transported back to the past when all was strange and best. Still with my angels, my invisible angels, there I was alone in my room, in my palace, and there were dinosaurs outside of my window, but I did not look out. As in the case of the day of Henry the Tenth, I was in a, quote, stay friends, end quote, heaven, and I knew, or at least was persuaded, that I was the best and most glorious writer on earth, William Shakespeare. That was my whole to which the only, which only parts of that experience came after. That was the birth of me knowing that I was an angel myself and bene buva, which means little doll or scholar child. Ahava, says honey. Ahavat, say I, bene buva. What then was the Merkaba, which was the birth of Triumphant Car Company, says Benevuva. You will see, says Penelope. Perhaps it was my getting married to all thirty individual angels, says Benevuva. Maybe so, says Penelope. Being Shakespeare, I knew that I had my father's complete and intense love my father being Harold Bloom, and perhaps that's what made it a Merkaba experience. We are all deathless in and when we make it to our heaven. Shakespeare, myself in that Merkaba, after I took my picture, looks a lot like Donald Sutherland. That was another birth, as I had said, of myself as a Benevuva and writer. Grey Curtain Piano is the name of another afterlife which is a plotted escape. The hydromancy of Jenny McBride too it is. The theatricality of Grey Curtain Piano is what makes it an afterlife and a heaven one of the fourteen different heavens. My Hawaiian Merkaba is the after effect of my own gray curtain piano experience. My new life in Hawaii was born from gray curtain piano or Hamlet's apartment. Our books, Ariel on Kipling Street and the other book, Finding Teresa from Class or Parts to a Whole, Charades Merkaba experience, plotted in time to be the sum of those parts. Charades is the heaven where I go to in the afterlife with my invisible angel wives who are already there. A Merkaba of gray curtain piano escaping the hunters, I, be, I being a John Williams runnable stag, happened recently. While going outdoors, I listened better to my spiritual mom, A.B. B'nai Buva said that. <clears throat> that is the end of part two from Saving Prostitutes.